Hey everybody, this is Big Al with J&J &J Outdoor Adventures. Come down to shoot our bows. Got Jared there on the lawnmower. He's cutting us out a path. You can see back this way to where we can shoot the bows. We have uh, yardage all the way up to 50 yards. Juddy here marked it off. So uh, we will be shooting here in a little bit. So stay Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, J and J True Outdoor Adventures proudly brings to you the old man Juddy B, the big man Big Al, and of course me. And today we are doing the reveal of the Bowtech Solution. This is my bow that I ordered back in February. Um, it finally arrived. What was it? The, the first week, first of, week of August. Of August. And uh, I just recently took it and had all the accessories put on it, which you probably have seen in a previous video just before this one, where I kind of go over it with the camera and show you all the accessories. Um, I'm shooting a Fast Eddie by Spot Hog. I have the Tight Spot Bow Quiver, um, Bowtech Edition, which is actually made to match the bow in the same color gray. I have the ripcord drop away rest here. I have the octane stabilizer, which is also owned by Bowtech, and then the Bowtech uh, wrist strap. Um, on Dad's bow and Big Al's bow, they come as rack, as uh, ready aim kill from Bowtech. Um, this is the same wrist strap that comes on those, the same stabilizer that comes on those, and this is pretty much the exact same rest that you can upgrade to on those bows. Um, the Fast Eddie, you can't get that on one of their ready aim kill bows. You have to buy this separate. Um, the tight spot quiver, I think some of their bows may come with tight spot stuff, um, but it ups the price, and you may not get the Bowtech emblem on it. Um, for me, that was a big deal. I like to have the Bowtech emblem on it. Um, so we've spent the evening doing a little bit of shooting, and uh, uh, we we sighted them in. Uh, we didn't bore y'all with all of that, but um, <clears throat> some of you might have liked to have seen that. We apologize, but uh, it was extremely hot. The sun was cooking us out here in this farm field, and. Uh, yeah, they can see the awning. <laughs> yeah, we had the awning up. We couldn't even sit under it. We had to angle it to where the, the shadow would fall on us. But uh, <clears throat> we're going to do some shooting for you all. Let you see how this bow shoots. Um, with the setup of the arrows that I have right now, um, if Dad gets a close-up there. With the setup of the arrows with an Illuminoc, which isn't the Illuminoc brand, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. And then the arrow wraps that my wife made us, um, and then the, what are those, the two inch blazers? Those are two inch blazers. Two inch blazers. Um, we chronographed this bow with these arrows, which are um, PSE radial weaves, 200s. Um, <clears throat> This bow chronographed on 71 pounds at 27 and a half inch draw at uh, like 3, 315, 318, somewhere around in there. Its IBO is 346, if I remember correctly, or 342. Um, there are arrows you can shoot to get closer to that. Um, when I chronographed it at the bow shop, it shot 342. But that was with a bare bones arrow with tiny fletchings, and you're really pushing the bow at that limit. Um, it didn't have luminox or wraps that, on it. Well, it didn't have any. Of, it didn't have any of that on it. But at that point, um, with the IBO being 346, you're really straining your limbs, and uh, you're basically jeopardizing the life of the bow, your string, your limbs, your cables, all of it. So uh, where I'm sitting right now, I'm extremely happy with it. I can shoot up to 60 yards with it. And uh, we did that today with the Fast Eddie sight. Um, the way you sight that, that this particular sight in is you shoot it in at 20. You take the target back to 60. You hit the target at 60. And whatever number you fall on, that tells you what sight tape to put on it. And you put that sight tape on and you're sighted in from 
Right now I'm sighted in from 20 to, what is that, 100 yards. So from 20 to 100 yards, if I put my pin on there, this bow is going to hit. So um, we're pretty excited to bring them to you. Of course, Big Al's got his bow here. He's got the Zion, just like Dad. And uh, we're going to do some shooting for you all. And uh, we've got cameras set up, downrange, on top of the target, beside the target, behind us, right here in front of us. So you can be able to see us draw. You can see the arrow flight. And uh, we really hope you enjoy. And I also wanted to do a shout out to, if I pronounce his name right, and I apologize if I don't, it is J.D. Olbrich. Olbrich, I think. Olbrich. Um, he was one of the people that uh, didn't even know he was entering a giveaway on our site. And uh, I posted some stuff here, what was it, Thursday or Friday? Alan? Thursday, Thursday. It was Thursday. I posted yep. some sneak peeks of my bow. And uh, he had been liking other things on the page. And it seemed like no sooner than a post was made, he was liking it. Like he was getting the updates. He was, he was following the page. And because of his dedication to our page, I sent him a custom J&J um, &J True Outdoor Adventures with our logo on it, dog tag. Um, that went in the mail today. And uh, he should be getting it here probably in the next uh, couple days. You know, they won't ship on Sundays, but uh, probably uh, Tuesday he should have that in the mail. Um, so we appreciate your dedication to the channel. Um, and 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 pan, following along with us for everything that we post and everything and we're grateful for that um so you all stay tuned uh i think dad's getting ready to show a uh, close-up of what the, if, the if, dog tag looks like if it'll show up that's the dog tag right there and it can be a necklace it can be a keychain whatever you want to make it out of but uh, he got one of those because he, he was liking the videos. He was following along. He, he, he was right there step by step. And uh, uh, dedication goes a long way to us, somebody who's going to watch us and, and, and follow along. So uh, I, I told Alvin, I was on the phone with him, and I said, this guy has liked every post that I've posted yep. in the last 20 minutes. And I said... Uh, uh, he, he's really following. He must be getting notifications. So without drawing this out any longer, um, thank you um, for, for following along. And uh, we're going to get to shooting. So y'all hang with us, and uh, we'll show you some action. We ready? Yeah. All right. He's going to shoot his Votex Zion. Yep. Just like mine. You've already seen the review of it. We're shooting at 30 yards. Shoot it one more time. <clears throat> you can see down there where he hit. It was a little bit high, but I think that was me. Try this one. No, side by side. <clears throat> and you're talking about group. And that group. There's his uh, group. Now he's going to go pick them up. Hello, everybody. It's Big Al here from J&J Drew Outdoor Adventures. This is my Botech Zion. Set up just like Juddy's. Uh, basically, I don't think there's anything different on mine than what there is Juddy's. My penalty is a little bit lower. Uh, yeah, I got the Octane Sight by Botech. I got the Octane Air Rest or Air Holders by Botech. Uh, I tell you what, I love the bow. It's lightweight, it's carbon, and uh, it shoots good. I really do love it. And I would say if you want one, go get one. It's a nice product. 
and you can't beat it. It's already set yeah, up. It's already set up. All you so got to have is errors and a, and, a, and a trigger, and you're ready to yeah, hunt. Yeah, errors and a trigger, and you're ready to go. Adjust your sights, and you're done. Exactly. Okay. No big Al told you. Me and him both. Botech Zion. The reveal was Jared's solution. He gave you little hints in those pictures I shared on the community on YouTube that it was the solution to his problem. Okay, but yeah, it's got the octane quiver, holds five airs, got the uh, uh, rip cord, rip cord, drop away rest. Of course, it's got a little bogo, uh, bogo, <laughs> a Botech sticker on it. It's got the octane sights, which the octane sights are typical sights like was on the Botech Assassin, which those were Apex. Apex, yeah. Uh, there's five pins. And uh, of course, you know, these Zions, you've got the performance cam and comfort setting. You just switch your cam around. Uh, which Dad and Big Al are both on the comfort, comfort setting. The comfort setting, yeah. Which gives you more of a back wall whenever you draw the bow. And it gives you a little more uh, <clears throat> comfort zone whenever you draw to where the bow's not going to creep forward on you. Um, when you let it down, it doesn't... When you let it down, it doesn't yank out of your hand. Now, on my solution, I'm a speed freak. Um, I'm sorry, that that's what I am. Uh, sue me. But uh, with with mine, I have it on the performance side. Um, the, the difference between the comfort and the performance, other than what you can feel, is uh, about 9 feet per second. If you put it on the comfort setting, you are going to have a smoother draw. You're going to have a smoother letdown. Um, it, it may, it's going to be more comfortable, just like how they put it. It's going to be a little bit better. But on the performance side, if you're like me, and the speed is what you're after, if you go with the Zion, or you go with the Solution, or you go with the Solution SS, if you want speed, you want it on performance. Here's the thing about the Botech Solutions and the Botech Zions that we discovered today. To change your draw length, the Alva's draw length was way too long. Yep. You change the stop, there's numbers here for your draw length. You change it to the draw length you need. The cams that was performance and comfort, there's three screws that holds it in. You take them out and there's numbers graduated. You can't see it, but it's on the inside of the cam, the main cam, and you adjust this to whatever. So if you're 27, it will set on 27 and a half. You just take those screws out, lift this up, and there's a little indentation on it. You go to the 27, screw it back down. You got to do both of them and adjust your stop. So I'm going to shoot mine. Well, you're going to talk about your camera. Oh, yes. I'm glad you mentioned that, Jared. People have asked me about the Tacticam. And I'll get you a close-up on it. There's the Tacticam using the rifle and shotgun barrel mount to mount it underneath my Octane stabilizer. Which one nice thing about the Octane is the way that they designed this, it's almost like a Picatinny rail. With, with the way the gaps are, it's almost like a Picatinny rail. Now the thing is, I've done some shooting with the Tacticam on, and we'll turn it on again. But it comes when you get the the, the Hunter. I can't remember what it was called, the Hunter Special. It comes with a stabilizer that screws onto your bow, and the Tacticam goes in it. I didn't want to change out my Octane stabilizer, so this is what I've done. I stuck the rifle shotgun uh, mount on the uh, Octane stabilizer and got the camera mounted underneath. And I'm going to turn it on. It's one click to turn it on. And it vibrates twice. When you and it records it. sound as well. And then you push it one more time. Try to remember how to get it to record. There, it's recording. You get, a little, you get a little green light to let you know it's active. Look at that form. He's like a professional. And let me zoom in 
the fish camera. Right there was where I was aiming. And that Luminok is right there. This is our first year shooting Luminox. And uh, they do make a difference in the way your bow shoots if you haven't shot them. Because you got to figure you got a lithium battery. It goes down in that shaft, so it adds a few more grains to the total weight of your arrow. So I'm going to go get my arrow, and I think we're done. I'll let Jared finish I've got to shoot. Yep. Oh, you haven't shot yet? I haven't oh. shot yet. And it vibrates twice when you and do it that. And records sound as well. And then you try to remember how to get it to record. There, it's recording, I think. Little, you get a little green light to let you know it's active. And now we're going to shoot the Botex Solution. Uh, one thing I was going to say is, is with the Botex Solution, um, it comes just as a bare bow. If you're going to go this route, you have to be ready to purchase all the accessories. Your peep sight, your string loop, your rest, your quiver, your stabilizer. It's just the bare bow. So you got what, about another $500 in it? Maybe, depending on the type of accessories you go with. Beautiful wow! Shot. Beautiful shot. Like I said, we chronographed his 312, 315, 318, 320 without Luminox. Mine was 262. 262, 257, and 255. Yeah. I'm fogging up. Yep, it's sir. humid. These West Virginia hills are humid. Oh, oh my gosh. Gotta get on the other camera. Yep. I gotta zoom yep. in on that. I tried huh? to I tried to space them out so I wouldn't mess them up. Right. <laughs> Those cost too much money. money. Folks, you know, here's the thing. I don't even know if it's going to zoom in. It's getting so low light right now. The uh, the destroyer or the destroyer, the solution is so fast. You just you just don't hear it. By the time he releases, you hear those errors hit the target. Yeah. Um. I am shooting 71 pounds compared to Dad. He's shooting 65. Big Al's shooting 60. Um, so naturally, it's going to be a little bit faster. I'm shooting higher poundage. But uh, the thing is, between any of these, whether it was the Botec Destroyer, whether it was the Botec Assassin, uh, which they both loved. They absolutely loved them. They didn't want to go away from them. Neither one of them would have new bows right now because they were so happy with the Assassin right. had I not went and was purchasing the uh, Solution. And the whole reason why I got the Solution was um, the design on the Destroyer 350, they had laminated limbs. Those limbs would fail eventually. Um, they would uh, delaminate. So... Either while you were pulling back or whenever you shot, those limbs would delaminate and that bow was going to blow up in your hands. Um, a lot of the people that had this happen to them is because they left their bows in a hot car. And I never did that. I mean, nothing. I, I took extra special care of that bow. And I, st I still have that bow. I could still be shooting that bow. The problem was, is it has been now... How many years? years? Ten years. Ten, ten years. years. It's been ten years since I purchased that bow, and I was starting to get concerned because it had been in the rain, it had been in the heat, it had been in the snow, it had been in freezing contempt or freezing conditions. Um, so I was starting to get a little concerned with it. And, and it had been shot 
lot. And I had shot it a lot. I had shot that bow so much that the, the when we first got them, we shot them so much that before hunting season, we actually had to change the string and cables. No. Yeah. It was the second year. No, it was that first year we changed the string and cables before hunting season. We shot them all summer long. I thought it was the second year. And um, so it had it had thousands of shots on that bow. The bow never let me down. I never had an issue out of it. And to this day, I will tell you that that bow is still perfect. I don't have any complaints with it. Other than the self-doubt in the back of my mind. So, this year, finally, I had been watching Bowtech for a few years. Nothing had come out that I really liked. I found the solution, and it just fit. That's the solution to my problems, as I put in the post on our Facebook page. A little play on words there. Some people may have caught it, some people may not have. But uh, that was the solution to my problems, and uh, I ordered it. And while I was in the shop ordering it, the, the bug got in Dad, and it got in Alvin as well, and they both said, well, you know what? We want new bows, too. <laughs> so can you blame them? I mean, a new bow is, is like getting a new car or a new, a, a new four-wheeler or something. So uh, they decided to get new bows as well. And uh, this year, we all have a new lineup. And uh, just like before, I had a flagship bow. Yep. And they had the rack-ready bow which is the one that comes with everything you need to start hunting with. And it comes at an affordable price. It comes at, uh, I think it's $7.99 or, or $8.99. Like yeah. um, there's different options you can put on it, and it will raise the price if you do so, but it gives you a little bit better accessories. Um, so we're really excited about this bow season. We're excited to bring this stuff to you all and for you all to watch. Uh, maybe this is maybe these are products that you all are looking at and maybe you're you're interested in I will tell you with with the Bowtech solution. I Purchased it in February It was actually the end of March uh, it was like or the beginning of March it was uh, It was the first weekend in March um, That I purchased the bow and I did not get it until just about what two weeks ago two weeks ago yeah so um, if that's something you're interested in look at your shops um, try to find out what the wait time is don't order one right now expecting to have it by, by bow season and maybe you're disappointed um, a few things that I have to say about Bowtech I love their product I love the bows their customer service can go fly a kite. I'm the one that bought the bow. I'm the one that's paying the bills. If the customer doesn't buy the bow, they don't have a brand. When I called them with questions on when I could expect my bow, they specifically told us that they would not talk to the consumer, they will only talk to their representatives, like their pro staff shop members or whatever. Um, so with that being said, their customer service can go fly a kite. I don't, I don't have any respect for them whatsoever. And, uh, you know, if I'm the one that bought the bow and I call and I have questions, they should talk directly to me. I don't want to talk to their representative. I want to talk to them. But, uh, it was a long wait. It was frustrating. And I got it. Finally. I'm tickled to death with it. I don't think there's another bow brand out there that comes close to them. Now, if you want to talk about bow brands that can shoot just as hard or just as fast, PSE is one of them. PSE can shoot as hard. PSE can probably shoot faster. But their bows, as far as tunability, are trash. Hoyt makes a great bow. Um, they make fantastic bows that, that are tried and true, and they're tough. But they don't have the speed and, and what I feel, the kinetic energy, than what the Bowtechs do. Um, Matthews, I'm sorry. You guys, if you like having seven inches of your arrow hanging out of a deer, that's fine. I like my arrow to be sticking on the ground on the other side of them. Um, 
I, I don't have any love for Matthews. I shot a Matthews for years. I have no love for him. But, you know, PSE, Hoyt, um, Prime, um, and, and there's a bunch of other brands out there. Bear makes a really good bow. Um, there's a lot of new brands that are coming up. Um, those are really good bows. But uh, for us, and for what we shoot, we'll probably stick with Bowtech. Okay. Yeah. Do we agree with that? I mean, oh, absolutely. Bowtech will be where yeah, we absolutely. stay. Well, look at my age. Yeah. I'll end up shooting a crossbow before I go to anything else. Yeah, you said too. that about the assassin, and you've got his eye on. Yeah, but <laughs> 10, years ago, 10 years ago, I was 50, and I yeah. told you that. That'll be the last bow I buy. Right. But you, I'm 60 now. But you can take a brand new bow tech, crank it down to 50 pounds, and still get complete pass through on a deer. Okay. So don't count your eggs before they've hatched. And uh, it's getting late, it's getting dark. We're going to have to get packed up. So uh, we want to thank y'all for watching. This has been the reveal of the bow tech solution. Um, and of course, Big Al Zion. Yep. But. Uh, Please hit the like and the subscribe button, uh, comment, and uh, remember, we keep an eye on who's paying attention and who's watching our channel and who likes stuff, and there may be giveaways that we don't announce, so uh, you all stay active. We, we appreciate everybody who, who stays active on our channel without even knowing that there's possibly the chance of getting something in return. So, uh, with that, we'll say uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the woods. <laughs>